Angel, who has one Xeno. Dark Blues, who has one Xeno. And now he fights off against another Xeno champion here. I don't know how this these could two potentially sets. This could end his run, I this think. This could yeah. be the end of a run. Rosalina, definitely a... Uh, this is the cleanup crew yeah. for Lucario. And if there's any player that describes cleanup crew accurately, accurately, I can't speak today, I'm sorry. <laughs> cleanup crew accurately, it's Ray. Definitely, for sure. My boy cleans up sloppy play habits and bad landings. And with a character like Lucario who has somewhat difficulty landing, this could, this could prove a little, a little, a little hard. They have difficulty difficult. landing. How about difficulty playing? Vivi not even get a chance to press any buttons. With minimal amount of percentage built up on terrain, that first stock, it's already cleaned out. That's literally going to be a big yikes for me, dog. So, Vivi got plenty of work ahead of himself to get anything done in this game one. But not entirely out of the woods. No. Lucario, it's not over till it's over. Lucario especially is the quintessential it's not over till it's over character. And already kind of racking up a little bit more percentage off the deficit. Given how big that Rosa is, she's susceptible to getting hit quite a bit. And how strong Lucario gets when he's in a stock deficit, the Anubis, which is a mechanic that assists him in... Uh, you call that aura. Yeah. It's... However, I like what Ray's doing, which is smothering Lucario's poor recovery. Lucario pauses right before he starts his recovery, so it leaves him pretty easily hit. I want to see how he micromanages against Luma, because that'll really help him a lot. I feel like it's really just going to be trying to make the most out of uh, the separations. I like that, though. And down just, air. Yeah, down air, great move to saw, uh, to saw them off. We or, saw or forward air earlier. Or back, obviously, right? So it, it, it will make getting rid of Luma easier for almost all the moves that wouldn't previously. He dipped just a bit too low with his recovery. That was a really rough game one for VV. Hoping to see him bring it back a little bit as... Get back in your ball. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the ball, dude. Lucario defiant in returning to the Pokeball. Devin, I want to ask, why do you use the Pokin... Pokin Sprite? Because Vivi likes it. Thank you, Card, for subscribing, by the way. Card? Yo, let's go, go Card. Let's go, Card. Holding it down out He's in Georgia. Ace. Oh, Card. It's a jo oh, the commentator. Yes. Yeah, and a T.O. Yeah, T.O., sorry. I saw him in the uh, roundtable discussion on the PGR. He's very well-spoken. Anyway, hop into town and city for game number two. Uh, I, I don't know about this counter pick, Chief. It's, all right, it's a little bit more of an even playing field, I feel, because we weren't seeing Vivi do anything to really justify Final Destination being a neutral pick between these two. Um, and the lower blast, uh, the shorter blessings, I guess, in general, would normally lead to... Vivi trying to end out stocks earlier if he can get his hits in. Yeah. He's managing much better than game one, though. That much can be said. Yeah, for sure. He got absolutely massacred game one. And... But the thing is, Ray has been doing a great job of catching Vivi's landings once more. Given how kind of, like, slow-moving... I don't know, would you call it floaty? I feel like Lucario moves unlike any any really floaties in the game. He, he like It's almost as if he's in, like, zero gravity when he's jumping. His jumps are very slow and light, and it can make landing a little bit slow of a process for him, so that way Ray has time to set up to anticipate these landings and catch them. I, I will preach about how Ray is good at catching landings till the cows come home. Because how about with, that? With Luma up, like there's not much you can do, and your recoveries are so limited as well. Because I don't know if there's one aspect that Lucario struggles with, it's kind of recovering sometimes. Extreme speed isn't always the best. No, yeah, it's a, it's a fickle recovery. Yeah. Whether or not you're coming in with a massive hitbox or you get a smooth landing, it has plenty of ups to it. But Blossom it leaves down. you incredibly vulnerable. You hover a little bit before you use it, so there's always a chance of it getting stopped outright. And that's so funny because it's called extreme speed, but it's not that, that fast. Setting slow. Uh, not that fast on the startup. Oh, up throw, up air into another up air into another up air. Why are we air dodging into another up up air. Airs? It's the year 2018. There's what other landing option would he have though? He, his jump is gone. I'm he could sure. do, he could double team. He could double team knowing that Ray is gonna. Interesting, up actually. Air. That's a very interesting option, actually. I, I like that a lot. It's also very strong on hit too. Oh. How's that for strong on hit? The DCing to Luma all the way out there. Vivi. Gonna be connecting to forward smash and erupting the chances of a new champion as we are going to be traded to Utopian Ray versus Sinji. A little bit run later on. ending at fifth. Very impressive run for him. Uh, I know that he is a potential candidate for the PR this season.